Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add websites to your shelf down here. At the moment, you can add your apps easily by just going to your start menu, choosing your app, like chess, for example, and just doing enter shelf, and then that goes on your shelf like that. But then if you wanted to do it for websites, it wouldn't easily let you do it. So this is really useful because what it will do is instead of having to go to Chrome to go to each website, if you've got websites that you visit on a regular basis, it's best if you have your own little icon here. So I'll show you how you do it. It has changed. This option was available before on Chrome, but, but it's changed how it works. I'm going to show you how it works now. So first of all, go to where you want to go. So say you go to cnn.com and you don't have to be on the home page. For example, you could Want to know about business and then from there go up to there go to more tools and create shortcuts and call it CNN business now you want to put open the window there and then do create and as you can see it's opened its own window down the bottom right click on that and do pin and that will keep it pinned on there so you'll see it's there now indefinitely if you do say go to bbc if you do it and you do forget to do the um let me just do this you forget to do the open as window that's not a problem because it's still creating a shortcut so when you create a shortcut so you've created a shortcut because you didn't put open window it's not gone down there but when you create the shortcuts, what it does, it puts these in here. So that's the CNN business, and there's the VC. So you can just then right click and do pin to shelf. And you can do that, do that with any website, whether it's Facebook, anything. So instead of having to go to Chrome every day to visit CNN or VC, you can just do it that way, which makes it much easier. And you don't get the web address at the top as well, which is good because that is giving you an extra space here. So you've got more space. If you have the web address, for example, if you open this up in Chrome, it's got that web address and it takes up a lot more space. So I do like that as well. And you could do it for Weber as well if you wanted to. So wherever you live, if I do BBC, I'll just do London as an example. Go to Weber, type in London. Create a London like that. And then just go there. More tools, create shortcuts, and just put weather London like that. And then create or open as window, and that's fine. And then you'll see it's down there, and then just pin. And then in the future, if you want to see the weather in your local area, you can just quickly open up that and it'll show you weather straight away, which is really good. Obviously, you'll all have your own websites you want to use for your weather compared depending on where you are. And some websites show you a lot more about the weather, like this, for example, has got a graph, so it will show you how it's going to go during the night. So it's a much easier way of looking at weather um, and having access to your regular websites that you visit. I think it's really good. I'm definitely going to be using it for websites that I visit on a daily basis rather than having to go into Chrome and type in each time. And it also helps when you're working as well, because if you have got loads of Chrome, windows open if you've got websites that you use regularly having them separate it is really useful so i hope that helped if it did please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching